Hey guys, I'm Dave Chesson of Kindlepreneur.com and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to fight ebook pirates. Yarg. The sad part about today's online market is that every day a new pirate pops up on the internet and takes your book from Amazon and puts it out there for free. Don't believe me? Go ahead and go to Google, type in your book title, and add the words free PDF and see how many of these sites are claiming to have your book out there giving it away for free. But here's the real deal. Most of those scallywags are actually fake. They don't have your book and instead are trying to get people to download malware. Now, I know what you're thinking, you know, take that for the guy who's gonna try to get your book for free, right? However, though, this is kind of an epidemic and we as authors kind of have a little bit of a right to make sure to give them the old keyhole and make them walk the plank. Now, below in the links, I have an article that shows you the step-by-steps on how you can do this manually. But we as authors shouldn't be spending our time dealing with these scallywags when there are some programs out there that will take care of this for us. And so in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can use a service called Blasty to be able to basically blast the pirates out of the internet for every time they come after your book. We're gonna start by setting up an account and then going through and, yeah, no joke, blasting them off the internet with a click of a button. Now the thing about Blasty is that it is this paid service, a very affordable paid service, that has two levels. The first level allows it where you have to manually click to blast them, which isn't that big of a deal. Actually, that's kind of what I prefer. The other is where you tell Blasty to just go automatically kick them off the internet. So if you'd like to see exactly how to do that, let's jump on my computer. Okay, now that we're on my computer, we're gonna test to see if there's a pirated book. We're gonna use AJ Powers' As the Ash Fell. Um, and then we're going to use Blasty to basically kill off all these pirates. So first we're gonna say As the Ash Fell, download for free. Let's go ahead and see what Google presents to us. Um, that's Amazon, so that's okay, that's Amazon. But interesting enough, here's a PDF of his book by this scurvy dog here. Um, now we could go through what I talk about in my article on how to kill this, but that's a lot of steps. So let's go ahead and go to blasty.co, okay? Also too, um, this is a paid service and I do have an affiliate link. If you decide that you want to do this, you can go ahead and use that and I'll have a coupon code for you to be able to use. So make sure to check that out in the description below or if you're watching this from the kindlepreneur.com article on ebook piracy, uh, you can find it there as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually, let's go ahead to their plans and pricing. They have a free one, which is where they'll alert you to let you know they're there. But the basic plan or full power plan, these are the two that actually do something. The basic plan will allow you to manually blast. So they'll go ahead and find all of them and then you're gonna see a, uh, an image where you can then just start clicking and blasting them off the internet. The full power plan is where they'll just do it automatically for you. For me personally, I kind of get a little personal satisfaction of clicking and blowing them out of the water. So let's go ahead and start blasting with that. Now I'm gonna enter in my information Let's see, activity, creator, or author of my original content, because that's who I am. Otherwise, if you're a publisher, you would click this. All right, done. Uh, your content, uh, select the category which best describes your content. It is a book, because we're again, we're using AJ Powers. I am not a robot. And I understand that entering false or misleading information will lead to denial or termination of my account, because hey, I don't want to start blasting somebody's legit work that isn't mine. Luckily, AJ Powers gave me permission to do this for his book, so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, now that we've got an account, I'm gonna go ahead and select, uh, we can either manu manually register one book at a time, or we can Amazon import all your books at once. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And in this case, we'll wanna go ahead and pull the information from his website. Okay, now let's go ahead, we go to amazon.com. If you do it automatically, you basically give them access to go through your Amazon account and then be able to pull that. So let's go as the ash fell. Okay, here's AJ Powers' book. Again, just making sure everybody knows I do have permission to be able to do this. So I'm gonna take the title of the book, go back to Blasty, uh, manual registration of one book, title, subtitle. Do we have one? No, we don't. Um, title of the series one in number in the series this is number one it'll be in English 
uh, main author, first name, AJ Powers, okay, reference URL. So this is going to be, this is where a legal copy resides. Okay, so in this case, we're going to take, I recommend that we just take from the ASIN number. Okay, copy. This is this little number here. It goes DP forward slash, and then it is, I believe it's 10 off the top of my head. That's like Amazon's ISBN number, their own. They call it the ASIN number. I don't remember what the SIN is, but it, the A is for Amazon. Um, so this is the bear code. All this other stuff is how you got there. And I've got an article about that called Amazon Link Anatomy. Just type that into Google, click on it, and check out what all this other gobbledygook, especially that QID number. Ooh, that's a fun one. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in there. All right, uh, I'm not gonna put in a thumbnail. I swear under penalty or perjury that I am the copyright owner or an authorized representative to act on behalf of the owner, which I do have, and I'm gonna go ahead and click submit. Would you like uh, to register more content now? Skip for now. Uh, you're almost done, Dave. Check your inbox and confirm your email address. I'm gonna go do that right now. Okay, so I hit the confirmation uh, link that was sent to my email address, and now I just need to add the Blasty to Chrome. I am using Chrome. I'll add the extension. Okay, it has been added. And now, let's see, declare official sources for your content. Hint, declaring official sources for your content will help Blasty's monitoring system spend more time on potentially illegal sources. So this is if AJ had a particular website where he was publishing um, you know, his books, which that might be the case. Now, luckily this is manual, so it's not like they're gonna automatically shut him down. Um, but you would wanna put in your author website here. If you, you know, if you had another blog that you're talking about, some people have like their main website, like I have kindlepreneur.com, but I also have davechesson.com, which is where I kind of just journal, I guess. Maybe if I talked about my book, I'd want to put that there as well. If I had a publisher, I'd put that there. Any legal distributors, Facebook page, any of my other content. Um, but either way, we're just going to go to order recap. Blasty basic year, unlimited blasts. So this is at this point, I've said, okay, I put in all my information. Now I'm ready to proceed to payment. Okay, so I entered in my credit card information. I hit pay to start blasting, at which case now I can go ahead and go through the three parts. Now, the first is I'm gonna get alerted. I'll get notified when potential misuses are found on Google. Then at that point, I can click on it and it will then take me to the alerts uh, so I can make, you know, say whether or not it's cool. Like, no, don't worry about that. I didn't talk about this one, but yeah, that's cool. Or get them. And in which case I can click the button and give them a slam for posting my stuff on there and they'll take care of it. And then we won't see it ever again on the internet. One of the cool things about uh, Blasty is it's very fast at being able to find these opportunities. Now you can go and click on the book and look at some of the mentions that they don't think are really bad, but you know, you can see them right then and there. You can check Google for where it shows up. This is kind of a niche feature to find out where people are talking about your book. But the ones that we want to look at, we want to go to alerts. There's already 16 that Blasty has found that are probably really bad. In this case, and again, they're going to ask if I want to auto blast these. Um, but in this case, here they are. And there's these are claiming that they're free. Okay, this one says that this is a PDF download. Um, you know, that's that's bad. Again, all of these are striking as in these are illegal uses of his book. We can go ahead and check each one. For example, say we'll start with this top one that says download as the Ash Bell PDF. I can say needs review. And it's sure enough, here is AJ's power download. This is an illegal uh, attempt to give away his book for free. So I'm gonna blast them off the water. Now, before submitting this blast, please review the blast guidelines. You can go ahead and do that if you'd like. Um, it says a responsible blast targets a web page which infringes upon your content or claims to infringe upon your content. So this is a big thing. I don't need to check to verify that they're actually giving away for free, but they are claiming to do such. So we're good to go. Um, so let's go ahead and say I have good faith belief that the use of the copyright information described previously um, and apply to all my future blasts uh, if I want to be lazy about that. But let's go ahead and hit blast and congratulations this blast is being submitted pretty soon we will not be able to find this page on the internet so just to kind of give you that quick understanding we can quickly go through all of these different ones and just blast them out of the water by clicking review and hitting blast and that way 
Mr. AJ Powers will no longer have all of these crappy sites giving away his book. Now I went ahead and fast forwarded and I did that for the remaining 12 that it was alerting me to. Uh, the other four were to other books so I did not blast them, although I'm pretty sure that they were being pirated and it was illegal, but it's I don't have permission to start blasting other people's. Who, who knows, right? So the 12 right now are in progress. I just want to talk about this blast history. Blast history is stating that right now, Blasty is going through and filing all that DMC stu DMCA stuff and all the other processes to basically knock him out in maybe a day or two I'll come back and I'll see what's completed but also sometimes they may be rejected I doubt it because these are definitely pirate sites but this is one way for the person to kind of respond back if they're legit um, but what we'll see in a couple of days is 12 less pirates on the internet selling mr. a or excuse me giving away mr. AJ powers books that's pretty awesome in my book pun somewhat intended so there you go, Blasty.co. All right, so there you have it. It really only took me a couple of minutes to not only be able to set it up, but then blast the scallywags out of the water. <laughs> I kind of like the word scallywag, I'm not gonna lie. Hmm. Might even use it for my kids today. So anyways, if you find yourself taking away precious time from your writing so as to deal with those, okay, I won't say it, um, cretins, just go ahead and check out Blasty. Make sure to sign up and have some fun as you go through and literally blast them out of the water. I'm Dave Chesson of Kindlepreneur.com, hoping to help you fight and combat ebook piracy with one quick little step. Cheers.